I've become just the slightest bit obsessed with washing my hands lately. Oh no, I'm not like compulsive, just confused. Meal time, everybody wash your hands. Kills 99.9% .9 of most common germs. Dude, you shouldn't be using that antibacterial soap. It lets the strongest germs survive and then you're breeding super bugs. All this conflicting advice is making me crazy. But hey, I am CBS News. I have the resources. I can get to the scientists who know the truth about washing your hands. This thing about singing through happy birthday twice while you're washing your hands, where does that come from? Well, I think the whole idea is to make sure that you get your hands clean and you do it long enough. Dr. John Boyce is Chief of Infectious Diseases at St. Raphael Hospital in New Haven, Connecticut. He spent three years creating the nation's official washing hands guidelines for the Centers for Disease Control. To see what difference timing makes in washing your hands, he suggested that I cover my hands with a simulated germ lotion that glows under black light. Phase one, wash my hands the way most people do, quickly. Okay, great. Oops. Oh my gosh. Did you miss some of them? A little bit. Oh man. Those are the areas you didn't get. Fingernails, yeah. I'm, I'm a walking virus box. All right, this time we use the proper technique. Happy birthday to you. Phase two, wash my hands the proper way. Long enough to sing happy birthday twice through. 20 seconds. You? you look like a monkey and you smell like one too. Okay, and this time, well, <laughs> I did a much better job. Still not getting my fingernail. I thought I got those, but. That's the part of people's hands as tough as to remember to do is the fingertips and the tips of your thumbs. The next thing I wanted to find out was soap and water or alcohol rubs like Purell. Dr. Boyce proposed a test that required getting my hands good and germy. Okay, I'm back. My hands are completely contaminated. Thank you for... Oh, no. <laughs> okay, let's do a culture here. So if you'll just put your uh, fingers in here like this and make contact with that plate. Okay, That's like, good, like that. Like cold jello. 48 hours later, Dr. Boyce photographed the results. Here's where I put my contaminated hand. It's like a bacteria rainforest. And here's after soap and water. Conclusion, soap and water does get rid of germs. And now, the second experiment. Doctor, administer the Purell. By the way, it doesn't have to be Purell, right? There's other brands. Well, there's a variety of different brands out there. So this time, the results were nearly identical. Before the alcohol rub and after. Basically, Purell does about the same job as soap and water. That doesn't surprise Chris Nunez, who oversaw Purell at Johnson & Johnson until it sold Purell last month. CDC recommends using soap and water, and when soap and water are not available, use an alcohol-based hand rub like Purell. With soap and water, you're talking about the mechanical action of rubbing off the, the bacteria. When you're using Purell, uh, the ethyl alcohol works by disrupting the membrane and the cell walls of the bacteria and killing off the bacteria. Let's face it, people's fear of germs is at an all-time high thanks to new superbugs like swine flu, SARS, and MRSA. Germ-killing equipment is big business. You can buy home air sanitizers, like this one from Guardian Technologies, where Chuck Thur is director of engineering. What we do is we pull the air in from the bottom because, as we know, most germs and things are heavier than air. Run it across the UVC light and exhaust it off the top. Have you noticed a, a rise in interest in the kinds of things you guys make? Well, I believe so, yeah. You know, we started out in 2005. We've doubled in size every year. Hospitals are experimenting with an enormous array of germ-killing machinery. Are you kidding me? It talks? Right, and it's just to make sure there's nobody in the room. Disinfecting process started. Yeah, you're happy now. Wait till you have a robot uprising on your hands. <laughs> there's only one problem with all this germ-killing. Not everybody agrees it's good for our health. 
Maybe the standards for hospitals where people are really sick should not be applied to normal, healthy kids. Happy baby, happy piggy. You see the smile on the pig's face? So you wouldn't run for the Purell and scrub that baby's tongue? Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. I would uh, encourage that kid to lick its fingers and come in and have lunch. <laughs> It's very difficult for your immune system to... Dr. Mary Rubish taught at medical schools for 30 years and now works with doctors preparing for their certifications. Her book is called Why Dirt is Good. Mary, I'm guessing this book was not a big bestseller. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is heresy. This is... You're telling young mothers... But why is this heresy? The illnesses that we have in childhood give us memory cells so that we don't get those same illnesses as adults. Are we saying that what I was told by my mom, which is that every time you get some bug, you've trained your body not to get sick from it the next time? That is exactly right. According to Dr. Rubish, children from overly sanitized environments develop immune systems that can turn against themselves, bringing with them allergies and other autoimmune diseases. Lupus, um, there's rheumatoid arthritis, um, there's a diabetes. These diseases happen when your body attacks itself. If you understand how the immune system is designed to work, it makes perfect sense that the only way you can get a strong system is to exercise it. What should the average person be doing about hand washing? My suggestion is if your hands smell bad, wash them. <laughs> And when you do wash your hands, she says, don't use antibacterial soaps. Those will have chemicals in them that will cause the bacteria to evolve in a bad way. It kills the easy ones and it leaves behind the ones we can't kill. Okay, I think I have it now. You should wash your hands with soap and water for 20 seconds and not antibacterial soap. If you don't have soap and water, you can use an alcohol rub. Unless you want to build up your immune system so you get sick less in that case, you should stop trying to kill the germs and wash your hands less often. Okay, I got it. From now on, I'll just wash one hand. <laughs>